Hello dear viewers, welcome to my tutorial video. In this session, I am going to show you how you can use the Mitsubishi Q-Series VLC analog output to create analog signal for various process control devices. Through this video, you will learn the step-by-step -step procedure to perform hardware connection, analog output configuration and programming procedure for the analog output module of Mitsubishi Q-Series VLC. The PLC we are using in this project is Mitsubishi Q-Series Modular Type PLC which CPU model is Q03UDE. This CPU comes with the defined types of input-output modules, communication modules, interface modules and all the modules in Cloudium power supply are mounted on a base to build a complete Q-Series PLC system. For creating analog output signal, there have been various model of analog output modules that can be connected with the Q-series CPU. The analog output module we are using in this project is model number Q64DAN, which have four numbers of analog outputs or channels. Each channel or output of this analog module provides both the voltage and kind signal. If we need the voltage signal, each channel can be configured to provide both voltage signal with the range of 0 to 10 volt DC 0 to 5 volt DC or minus 10 to plus 10 volt DC. If the channel output is configured to provide current signal, then the channel can provide current signal with the range of 0 to 20 milliampere or 4 to 20 milliampere. The selection of analog signal depends on which type of control devices we are connected with the analog output. Once the type of signal is decided for a particular control device, we can easily select the type and range of signal during analog output configuration in PLC programming. And now let us see how we can perform the hardware connection for PLC analog output to generate analog signal using PLC program. Look at the connection terminals for analog output card where there are three connection terminals for each channel from which we can get both voltage and kind signal of different range. For hardware connection, first you have to power up the analog output card with the 24 volt DC power supply. This module has the connection terminals, positive, negative and ground to connect with the terminals of 24 volt DC power supply. So connect the positive terminal of power supply with the positive terminal of analog output card whose terminal number is 16 and connect the negative terminal of power supply with the negative terminal of analog output card whose terminal number is 17. Then select the channel of analog output card from which we want to get the analog signal. Suppose we want to use the channel number 1, so go for connection terminals of this channel. You will find three connection terminals V plus, V minus and I plus for this channel which is similar to connection terminals of other channels. If you want to get voltage signal from this channel, Use the V plus and V minus terminals for connection with the analog output devices and use I plus and V minus terminals for connection if you want to get the kind signal from this channel. In this project, we will load a PLC program to CPU to create voltage signal from the channel number on. So, if you want to measure the instant value of this voltage signal, then take a voltmeter, connect the positive lead to V plus terminal and negative lead to B- terminals of this channel. Now take a look at internal working procedure that an analog output module follows to create analog output signal. If we look inside the structure of analog output module, we will find that there is a digital to analog converter for each channel of analog output module which converts a specified range of digital values to a specified range of analog signal. This digital value comes from the PLC CPU and the PLC CPU generates this digital value on execution of user PLC program. To understand the conversion algorithm for DA converter, look at the performance specification sheet for analog output module whose model number is Q64 DAN. Note that the range of digital values converted by the DA converter can be defined at normal resolution mode 0 to 4000 or high resolution mode 0 to 12000 and the range of converted analog signal can be set at different ranges of voltage or current signals mentioned in this manual. 
So for selecting digital value range 0 to 4000 and analog signal type as 0 to 5 volt DC. If the digital value comes from the PLC CPU 0, the converted analog signal of DA converter will be 0 volt. For digital value from CPU 4000, the converted analog signal will be 5 volt DC. So for any digital value comes from the PLC CPU, the value of converted analog signal will be found from the following digital to analog conversion algorithm. So if the digital value comes from the PLC CPUs 2000, the DA converter will convert this digital value to analog signal as 2.5 volt DC. Now let us proceed to PLC LiDAR program for PLC analog output using ZXOX2 programming software. Go for ZXOX2 and double click to open this PLC programming software. You will find this kind of window here. First of all, we have to create a new project. So open the window for creating new project. Select the series of the CPU is QCPU and the type of this CPU is Q03UD. As we have already mentioned this series and type of this CPU in this video. Select the language as letter language. Click on the OK button to finish for creating new project. In this window, go for parameter options and double click on the PLC parameter tab to open the dialog box for Q parameter setting. Go for input output assignment tab. From this tab, we have to add the PLC analog output module of our desired model. Now click on the new module to open this type of window. Go for module selection options. Select the module type as analog module and select the model number of this analog output module as Q64DAN. We have already set the analog output module to the slot number 3 of the PLC mounting base. So select the mounted slot number as 3. Note that the start XY address for this analog output module have been automatically set to 0030 hexadecimal. Click on OK button to finish this job. Note that the PLC analog output module of the model Q64DN have been added to the PLC parameter. Now click on the IN button to finish the PLC parameter settings. When the analog output module of our desired model have been added to the PLC parameter settings, you will find this analog output module under the tab for intelligent function module. Expand the tab for analog output module. Here you will find three types of settings that you have to complete now. Go for switch settings dialog box. From this dialog box, you have to set the type of the signal for the selected channel. We have selected the channel number on from which we want to get the voltage signal and the range of the signal is 0 to 5 volt DC. So select the output signal range as 0 to 5 volt DC for the channel number on. Put the settings for other channel as default as we did not use these channels in our project. Click on the OK button to finish the switch settings. Go for parameter settings. Here you will find the options for setting the DA conversion function enable or disable for each channel of the analog output module. Set the DA conversion function as enable for the channel number on. Leave the settings for other channels as disable as these channels are not being used in our project. Close this window and go for auto refresh setting. Here for each channel of the analog output module, you can assign the data memory address in the PLC CPU memory from which the DA converter of the analog output module 
will get the digital values in its buffer memory and convert this digital values to analog output signal. So put the data memory address as D10 for the channel number on which will store the 16 bit digital value in the PLC CPU memory. Similarly, you can put the data memory address for the other channels if you use these channels to get the analog output signal. As we have used only the channel number on in this project, just leave the areas of other channels as blank. When you have come to finish the auto refresh setting, just close this window. Now go for analog output program. But to proceed with the analog output programming, you have to understand how to scale for PLC analog output signal which you are using for controlling analog output devices. Scaling for analog output signal means mapping the minimum and maximum value of operational range for analog output devices with the minimum and maximum value of analog output signal range. In this project, we will run a DC motor at variable speed using PLC analog output signal 0 to 5 volt DC. Then, to run the motor at zero or minimum speed, we also have to create analog signal with minimum value 0 volt as well as to run the motor at maximum speed, we also have to create signal with maximum value 5 volt DC. Already we have come to know that PLC analog output model creates analog signal depending on the digital value or raw value received from the PLC CPU. Now to run the motor at desired speed, you have to provide a speed reference value to PLC CPU depending on which the PLC CPU will create digital value or raw value for DA converter. To understand what will be the reference value, consider minimum speed of motor as 0% speed and maximum speed as 100% speed, then speed reference value will be within a range from 0 to 100%. We can provide this value to PLC CPU from scanner interface or directly write this value in the data register used in the PLC analog program. So if we want to run the motor at half of its maximum speed, we have to provide a reference value as 50.0. Then the PLC CPU will convert this reference value or engineering value to digital value as 2000 using PLC analog output program and we will send this digital value or raw value to DA converter to convert it as 2.5 volt DC signal as analog output. Finally, this signal will go to PWM driver as reference signal to run the DC motor at half of its maximum speed. So, we will create PLC leader program to provide 0 to 5 volt DC signal with corresponding speed reference value from 0 to 100 percent. Finally, a later program for analog output have been created that you are looking in this window now. Note that for providing speed reference value, the data register D100 have been used in the later diagram. The reference value that will be written to D100 data register will be 16-bit floating type data. So, first two lines of later program have been used for mapping the D100 data register value to integer type raw value within the range from 0 to 4000 and finally converted integer value or raw value have been stored in the D10 data register. So the DA converter will get the digital value or raw value from the D10 data register to make analog output of desired value to run the motor at desired speed. Next line of later program have been used to enable the channel number on when the analog output model is ready to function. When we will come to finish loading this later program to PLC CPU. In the first step, we will test the analog output signal with the voltmeter and in the second step, we will perform an operation of motor at various speed with respect to speed reference value during program debugging.
So this is the video where the working procedure with analog output module for Mitsubishi Q series PLC have been shown in details. If you find this video informative and helpful for you, please like, share and make comments on this video and don't forget to subscribe this channel.